name's Jodie and I have an operation because I had an accident a few years ago. car knocked me down and but then it just damaged my leg and broke my leg. And what I was going to do is going to have a tailor frame on my leg to try and straighten it back into position. Well, essentially a tailor frame is uh, it, it's a frame, um, but it, it, it's something that goes around the, the leg. Uh, and allows the surgeon to fix the bones into particular places he wants. Uh, Fergal Monsell is my name. I'm a children's orthopaedic surgeon working at the Bristol Children's Hospital. Um, Jodie's one of my patients who was involved in a, a road accident several years ago. In, she fractured her femur, which is her thigh bone on the right. And so the consequence is that the mechanical alignment of her leg has been interfered with. Her leg looks crooked, so we're trying to create two things. For her, it's how it looks, and for me, it's to make sure that the mechanics of her knee is reconstructed so that she doesn't run into problems such as arthritis when she's a middle-aged uh, woman. And the way to do this is, first of all, to take radiographs in a particular manner which defines the exact position and um, magnitude of any deformity, and then to place a fixator to control the bone whilst you straighten the bone out. Called a tailor frame, and what I do is I just it's metal, and it just goes right in your leg. And there's eight rods that go right to the bone. What it does it holds it in position, and you turn these bolts every day at a certain amount of time, and um, straightens it gradually, and it takes about four to six months. Well, in a tailor frame you're dealing with some high strength steels um, and um, um, sort of stainless steel type materials because clearly you can't have corrosion and uh, things rusting like that. Also you want it lightweight because uh, you want to ensure people are reasonably mobile with it and if you make it out of something very heavy it's not going to be, be very good for that. And so some really sort of all, what you'd call space age materials really they are the materials that are used in, in the aerospace industry for, for the same reasons of lightness and strength. And, and, and engineering covers such a vast uh, array of things in, in getting this product right, right from the selection of metals uh, through to the, the way you join them together, using computers and finite element analysis, all these, these great tools that allow us to sort of work out just how strong we can make this thing. And so, you know, uh, engineering covers a lot of different aspects. You've got lots of engineers involved in this, from people who are specialists in materials, people who are specialists in, in doing the design calculation, how you put the thing together. Yeah, a really quite a range of engineers are need to really make these products a success to allow the surgeons and the, and the medics to do what they do well. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit um, alright, because I know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go down to the theatre and put in the needles to put me to sleep, anaesthetic, I think, and then they're going to put I think it's, I can't remember what it's called, but they're going to put a needle in my back so that when I wake up I don't feel anything. And then I'll probably come back here and probably sleep for the rest of the day. It's a relatively straightforward correction as far as I'm concerned. As far as she's concerned, it's, you know, it's, it's, she has to wear the fixator, it's dividing the bone, it's a, you know, it's a very major event. But for me, it's, it's, it's a, a single direction correction. The work we're seeing with the surgeon here is clearly he's got to know where the frame's going to go and how the uh, where he needs those wires to hold that bone to do what he's going to do. So working with the frame, he's then got uh, guides that allow him to then drill through the bone and attach the wire precisely where he needs it and then fasten that into the frame so that he knows he's got that held exactly as he wants. Connector, come in now. Now the other thing is, you'll notice that these rings aren't parallel. Okay, and if we've got it right, the, the, the angle between the rings is the angle of the deformity, which we measured as 12 degrees, and it looks about right. There's a 12 degree divergence there. When we finish, they should be parallel, and the bone will then be straight. It's got all the bits where he wants it exactly, and that's the adjustments that 
the, the product allows, it allow him to do that, uh, and then he can check that he's going to get the movement that he's going to need to extend and make the bone grow in the right places uh, as the days go by. One thing I'm looking forward to doing is start playing badminton again and start playing football and hockey and things I enjoy most. So yeah.